Hello, in this demo we will see few mathematical operations that I can perform using C sharp. Mathematical operations like adding, subtraction, multiplication, division and apart from this we will see one more important concept called as typecasting. So let us start programs visual c sharp 2008 express edition that you can find free now i'll just say file new project again i'm going to start a console application and i'll name it as math operations example say okay now it is going to fire a new window with program.cs as file name that will be the default page that I'll get whenever I start a console application. Now whenever I get that page I need to start writing my program from main. Now say I have two variables I have two numbers say number n1 and the value of this number is say 67 and I have another number say n2 and the value of this number is 56 now I want to add n1 and n2 and I want to store it in n3 so I'll say n3 equals to n1 plus n2 now if you observe n1 got underlined with red color, n2 got underlined with red color, n3 got underlined with red color. Right? And what is that our intention? Our intention is to store 67 in n1 and to store 56 in n2 and to add n1 and n2 and store that value in n3. And I want to display the result as n3. To display the result we have our method console dot right line. n3 without any quotations I need to write n3 I need not to write n3 in quotations because I want to display the value of n3 now I'll end it with console dot read line now you need to observe that n1 n2 and n3 got underlined with red color it means that your compiler or your C sharp compiler does not have any information about these variables n1 n2 and n3 okay you know that you know we are storing 67 in n1 and 56 in n2 but how does your compiler know that we are using n1 to store 67 and we are using n2 to store 56 where 67 and 56 are integers we call it as integers why because it does not have any points and all those things so we call it as integer so i need to say explicitly that n1 and n2 and n3 n1, n2 and n3 we are using these variables to store we are using these variables to store integer values I need to say this explicitly to the compiler so I'll be writing that at the starting of my program so I'll say in our computer world we call it as declaration of variables n1, n2 and n3 so I'll say int for integer types int n1 comma n2 comma n3 so I have declared three variables now if you observe all those red lines got disappeared that means now compiler comes to know that n1 okay n2 n3 they are using these variables to store some integers now let me execute this to execute I'll just simply press F5 so it should display me the result of 67 plus 56 the result is 123 okay that's fine so this is a simple uh, you know addition of two numbers program now I want to display the result as the sum of n1 and n2 is n3 I want to display the sum of n1 and n2 is n3 that means I want to format my output I don't want to display simply 123 I want to display the result with some meaningful message so I'll just put these things in quotation saying that sum of n1 and 
n2 is n3 i'll just remove this n3 now what will be the output definitely the output will be as it is whatever we write in our quotations so what i want is i don't want to display n1 n2 and n3 i want to display the values of n1 n2 and n3 to display the values of n1 n2 and n3 what is that we need to do simply we need to replace n1 with floor brackets 0 n2 with floor brackets 1 and n3 with floor brackets 2 so as many variables we have so many floor brackets we need to use using 0 1 2 3 as indexes now i'll put a comma after semicolon now i'll say what what variable value sh we should display at 0th position i want to display n1 at 0th position and n2 at first position and n3 at second position that's it i'll just press f5 now it displays the meaningful result saying that sum of 67 and 56 is 123 now there is another way of displaying the same result using plus operator now here the plus operator will not work as your mathematical plus operator but it will work as string concatenation that means i am trying to concat two strings using plus symbol the same result i will be displaying using console dot right line i'll just write sum of what is it i want to display i want to display n1 right plus n1 plus quotation start sum of n1 and quotation close plus n2 now wh whatever the value i want i am concatenating it outside the bracket quotations n2 sum of n1 and n2 is n3 that's it if you observe both of the method displays the result in the same format but we are using two different techniques one technique is passing parameters kind of thing where you know i'm using indexes 0 1 2 3 for n number of variables and another is we are using plus symbol as you know string concatenation so from this we get uh, the concept of addition of uh, two numbers and uh, you know variable declaration if they are of type integer we, in, we need to use int if i am using some float kind of thing like 6.5 and i want to add 56.7 then instead of int i need to name it as double simple i need to name it as double i need to declare them as double and if i press f5 now i'll get the result in double now let us keep it as int as usual now instead of adding 67 and 56 i want to add 100 and 200 what is that i should do definitely i need to change n1 to 100 and i need to change n2 to 200 okay i'll get the result now if i want to add 500 and 600 do i need to edit the program again and again no yeah definitely i hope you are getting my point what i want is i want to give an option to the end user to enter the values from the keyboard so i don't want to give 100 and 200 we call it as hard code i don't want to hard code the values i want the values to be given by the end user at runtime so what is that i'll do instead of saying 100 i'll say n1 equals to console dot read line that means this value i'll be reading from the keyboard and n2 equals to console dot read line is that clear now if you observe there is a red line right console dot read line got underlined with red color means what there is some error anyway wherever you find red underlined 
you you should know that there is some error now i'll take my mouse pointer let us see what is that it is saying now if you read the error message in the last line cannot implicitly convert type string to int cannot implicitly convert type string to int means what now what does this means whatever i am reading from the keyboard whether it is a number or a character or some special symbols or anything from keyboard it treat it as string whatever i am reading from the keyboard it will treat it as a string now what is that we are trying to do we are trying to store a string in integer is that possible no that is not at all possible what is that i need to do i need to convert this string type to integer type so how do i convert it is very easy i need to say int dot parse now parse this string to int that's it here also i'll say int dot parse parse this string to int now if i execute it will be waiting for me to give two numbers i'll give one number and press enter then i'll give another number and i'll again i'll press enter then i'll get the result that is sum of these two numbers the sum of 56 and 89 is 145 but if you observe it does not looks you know or uh, it has very less understandability or readability or the you know uh to the end user it is not very much convenient so i want to display two messages to the end user saying that enter the value for n1 one message and another message is enter the value for n2 so what i will do first of all i'll display the message i'll say console dot write line enter the value for n1 then i'll read the value from the keyboard after that i'll say hold dot right line enter the value for n2 now this will be little bit meaningful or you know it gives good understanding to the end user now i'll press f5 now i'll have two messages first message is enter the value for n1 okay the value for n1 is 567 value for n2 is 987 the sum of 567 and 987 is 1554 that so hope you might have understood uh, you know parsing in dot parse if i am want to convert whatever i am reading from the keyboard to integer type i need to use in dot parse so how to use console dot right line and how to use in dot parse hope you might have understood that fine if i have double the numbers are in points definitely i'll say double dot pass i'll declare it as double and i'll say double dot pass okay